Also, we have a few other stories that we're going to go down today on the Uncensored Truth Podcast. So I'm going to jump actually right into this. If you're listening on YouTube, I need you to do me two favors. As always, hit the like button and please go ahead and share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let them know the Uncensored Truth Podcast is live. All right. I'm going to start with this story, you know, um, right here about the R. Kelly. We've been talking about this. Um, it's been on Lifetime. All major media outlets have been covering the R. Kelly um, documentary called Surviving R. Kelly. But um, people, we were talking about this the other day. Um, how come there's been like no prosecution? How come the parents didn't do anything? Well, it appears that sources from Fulton County District Attorney's Office said an investigation was open based on allegations made against Kelly in the Lifetime documentary. It was noted by the news outlet that investigators have been trying to get in contact with some of the alleged victims in the documentary. One of the women who escaped R. Kelly's house in Georgia, Asante McGee, has reportedly been contacted by authorities that are trying to move forward on trying to get some, you know, press some, um, you know, charges on R. Kelly. Sam, man, your initial thoughts on uh, this came out a few hours ago. What do you think about this? Well, I mean, it's about time. Mm -hmm. About time. I'm sad that it took a, a lifetime series right. for this to go down. It should have been people coming out and giving testimony. But that being said, if it did take a life series for this to come, mm -hmm. applaud to the victims, applaud to things moving forward. Should be real interesting to see. I think the truth is going to set a lot of people free. Now, we all know the justice system that we're looking about going into right now. It's a flawed system. Things can happen. You, we've seen the situation happen with him when, when the sex tape scandal came out years and years ago. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought it was him. Everyone knew it was him doing those crazy ass things. He got off on that. So we mm -hmm. all know how this works. We don't know what's going to happen when it comes to a hearing. We don't know what's going to happen moving forward. But this is a step in the right direction. If you do feel as though R. Kelly is a pedophile, a molester and guilty of some things that aren't justly allowed in the society, then you got your win today. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm one of those people that feel as though he does he does need to be prosecuted or looked into further if these allegations are strong. So I'm glad this is going on right now. Yeah, especially if it's like the way they make it seem like it was like a cult and there was like so many different, you know, women, you know, that, that came in that he manipulated and they said he was a charmer. You know, um, some of the things that they said and he would pretty much, you know, um, get inside these women's heads young and make an impression on these women, you know, young. So they, you know it's almost you know like they're not going to come out against him because they love this guy he took their virginity he buys them stuff and there's been allegations about him even sleeping with and take taking care of some of the parents uh, as far as uh financially wise which is definitely crazy but um common came out and i'm gonna unplay this video sam man mm. then i want to get your opinion on on this aspect because i don't think we really covered this one it's probably could shed a little bit more light on why we haven't seen him be prosecuted here's com what common things i'll play this clip real quick and i'll get your commentary on that what do you make of, uh, of these women and this R. Kelly group? This documentary has shocked the world. Um, I got I gotta know this. Yeah. Jada Smith said something. She said, Where's the, well, black women are not being valued. And that, when, when you see the sales spikes, that's what it says. If it wasn't just black women who R. R. Kelly had been, you know, molesting and, and, and abusing. If it wasn't just black women, he would have been attacked by the system in a different way. Meaning, the system doesn't have a value for black women the way they do, you know, white women or just right, other right. Uh, other nationalities. I mean, I can see that. Yeah, but let me say this: you know, obviously, R. Kelly, from everything we've seen and and, and what we're hearing, he's had, you know, he has uh, issues that has to really, really be worked on some deep and dark, heavy issues. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the one to judge him, and and and, but I'm not condoning that ever, right? Like, ever. And I feel for the survivors. I feel like, man, that's just, man. I, I just feel a lot of compassion for them. We felt in the community because we knew that these things were happening. Instead of trying to be like, yo, let's go, let's go try to, um, you know, resolve this situation and like to free these young ladies and get, you know, like and stop this thing that's going on. We just, we just like, man, we rock into the music. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and you know, I, I've been, a, I'm guilty of that too myself because I didn't stop and be like, yo, and speak against this. And that's, you know, R. Kelly from my hometown. 
you know, at the end of the day, he's a human being. He has his issues, and we see that. But I can condone that, and I can't allow, and I shouldn't be allowing that to happen. We failed our communities as, as black people. I ain't gonna talk about what the right. system did by not right. by not caring about the black people. We should have been caring about our, our young lady. But we stopping that cycle, and I think you know, people are aware, and, and you know, we live and learn. So that uh, clip right there is courtesy of um, TMZ. Set a mouthful. You know, they're obviously agreeing with a lot of what the brother, um, you know, put down. You know, they're definitely we are accountable. You know, we said this, you know, numerous times mm -hmm. on the platform talking about this R. Kelly, you know, um, scandal. But Sam, man, what are your initial thoughts on Common, you know, um, echoing the sentiments you know, of us and other people? What do you think about that? Yeah, oh God, I concur exactly with what you said. It reminds me of the conversation we had yesterday um, in Master P and his discussion. It, it, it mm -hmm. expressed this, almost the exact same sentiments. You have to start just kind of taking some accountability for your own actions as us we have to start taking accountability in our actions now i've been looking throughout the various comments and we appreciate everybody that goes on the podcast and comments on all of, on the platforms but a lot of the slack that we're getting is well why aren't you talking about weinstein why aren't you talking about lauer why aren't you talking about this well one we have yeah two you can't have it both ways and this is what i mean by that you say fuck the grammys fuck the oscars Fuck this, fuck that. That's not ours. That's not ours. But then want us to hold people accountable for doing things to their own people. Well, how are we going to have it both ways? If we don't want them, if we don't need their acceptance when it comes to this, we shouldn't ask for their accountability when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Let's worry about our own. Mm -hmm. But in far too many times, we think that we're attacking our own when we hold our own, the people that put themselves on these pedestals accountable. It's not we we can't have it both ways, black people. We got to really understand what we're doing here mm -hmm. and and just kind of get a grip and accountability on ourselves. Now, he made a good point. We all fall guilty of that. Now, this being said, all the shit that was going on with R. Kelly early on, that's a lot of the stuff we've seen as children. Yeah. So we really didn't we weren't able to adapt and understand what the severity of what was going on early on. Mm -hmm. Now that we're adults, we're able to express our opinions a lot better. Fathers, things like that. So. We are mm -hmm. on these podcasts expressing our opinions and, th and, th and things and such. So I, I agree with him when it comes to that. We have to do a better job. We should have held him accountable a long time ago. It wasn't very popular mm -hmm. to say F.R. Kelly. He's a pedophile during the time when he's creating hits after hit, after hit, after hit. But somebody should have went out there and stepped out and said it because now a lot of people look hypocritical. Yeah, a lot of people, man, everybody coming out of the world works now each and every day. Is Fr Kelly, I, I think uh, uh, DJ Mustard, you know, uh, put something up this morning. I see it on Twitter that he said kind of Fr Kelly. So you know, um, people knew about this, you know, especially back in our day. They did nothing about it. They didn't care. They turned a blind eye to it. They seen the situation with Aaliyah. Um, everybody, you know, um, deserves a blame. The parents, you know. Um, but as far as you know, the um, the, the the pending investigation, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Right. It's so long ago. Uh, can they get a witness cooperation? Because back then we thought he was going to jail. Back when he had that 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 sex tape with mm -hmm. the minor, we thought that it was over. That he was going to jail. You know, um, cutthroat. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I, I like what Common said, man. I gotta definitely agree with what he said. Um, I always like when he puts his opinion out there. We need more people like Common. But um, yeah, man, we everybody deserves you know blame in this situation. But I don't think that he's nothing's going to happen to this guy. To be honest, at this time. I just don't. It remains to be seen. Another point I want to add onto this is mm -hmm. a lot of, of the criticism we were getting throughout the comment section. I was real busy talking to the people today. It was dope. But um, our we didn't watch the docu series. We have no weight in this discussion. Seen that? Well, mm -hmm. I disagree with that wholeheartedly because we've watched and seen this docu series right. play out forever and ever and ever when it comes to R. Kelly. The mm -hmm. last two decades, while I believe I can fly, was flying and world's greatest and. Uh, I wish and all these hits were flying through the airwaves and B2K was rocking and all these other artists that were written uh, songs by R. Kelly mm -hmm. were rocking. We knew all of this. We knew he married Aaliyah. We knew he pissed on that girl. Mm -hmm. All that stuff went down. He calls himself the Pied Piper. What does that mean? Exactly. Let's go in our history books. He's yeah. been the Pied Piper since day one. Mm -hmm. Since he was with Aaron Hall and them. He's been the Pied Piper. So mm -hmm. this is nothing new to anybody. So don't give me the thing that, oh, these dudes didn't watch the docuseries. They don't matter. I don't need to hear the nasty details. Right. I already know the fucking story. I don't, see the, hey, I don't need to see nobody's propaganda. You know what I mean? Um, if it happened, it happened. I don't need to watch it. You know what I mean? Um, so that, that is what it is. I, mean, I 100 percent agree with what you said right there to answer, you know, um, that comment. We definitely seen it and we know. You know what I mean? So Fact. definitely remember to tune into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, old God. 
and Sandman going in today on this Tuesday. Everybody listening on YouTube, do me a favor, hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. This next story, man, is very gruesome.